Welcome back. Today is Emancipation Day. The first Monday in August celebrates the emancipation of slaves from British colonies, and it's something Foxillians have also included within its festival activities. An ecumenical service was held in Foxhill today at the St. Paul's Baptist Church. Governor General His Excellency C. A. Smith, the Member of Parliament for Foxhill, Sean L. Ferguson, Senator Fred Mitchell, Lady Agrid Darling, and others were in attendance. Ferguson presented the Governor General with a basket containing fruits from Foxhill. Additionally, she says she will advocate for Fox Hill to be commemorated in a special way due to the fact that it is one of the oldest festivals in the country. While chairman of the planning committee, Clinton Parrish, shared how the Fox Hill Festival began with the late Eric Wilmot. This Fox Hill that we love and cherish be named a national heritage site. They talk about World Heritage Sites, let's start at home. Let's start at home. Our Fox Hill Day, our Emancipation Day, almost 200 years old. Where else have you, can you find it in this Bahamas? So stand with me, will you? Stand with me and let's push, let's agitate, let's tell our country why Fox Hill should be a national heritage site. He had the idea to bridge the two days of Emancipation Day and Fox Hill Day with activities in between to create a festival. Well, Reverend Dr. Philip Browning called for unity in his address while Mount Carey Union Baptist Church Pastor Warren Anderson reminded those in attendance why it's important never to forget. Now we are free, we can move, we need to cherish it, but do it in relationship with all of us together. We are one people, and Georgians, and Providence, the rest, one people, and we are united in service and love. We divide, it seems, for government, but we must come together as one people. But Jesus is saying to them, you've got to remember, he began to teach them about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He began to teach them about the past. People of Fox Hill, we've got to teach our children the past. We've got to train them in a way that we used to have and remember that they remember the past as they grow up. 